This is a Godot lesson pack. Head on over to itch.io in the description and you can download the source code as well as a full text guide. Panning is essential for controlling a camera with a mouse. It's everywhere. Look at real-time strategy games, mobile games, and editors like Godot's. So how do we make one in Godot 3.4? Go ahead and create a new scene with two key nodes. You need a camera 2D, that's what's going to pan around, and you need a sprite, that's going to be a reference point. If you don't have something in your scene to compare to, you won't be able to see that your camera's moved. Add a script to the camera 2D, and then let's get input from the player. In most editors, you can pan the camera around by clicking a button, like the mouse wheel in, and then moving the mouse around. To detect those clicks, we're going to add an unhandled input event virtual function. In this, we can check if the middle mouse button is pressed with some global button masks. We can also detect some mouse motion by checking if the event is an input event mouse motion. This kind of input event tells us how far we've moved relative to the last frame in a property called relative. Now you can use this to move the camera in the opposite direction. The final step is multiplying this motion by the current zoom. So when the zoom is small, the motion will be small, and when the zoom is large, the motion will be large. That was quick, so let's add zooming in and out as well. You need a target zoom variable. When you scroll the mouse wheel up, this is going to get smaller, and when you scroll it down, that value is going to get bigger. Using button masks, we can extend that unhandled input event function to respond to the mouse wheel going up and down. This time we're going to check if the event is an input event mouse button, and check that the button was pressed with the is pressed function. Now let's put together the zoom in and zoom out functions. Each function moves the target zoom variable towards 0.1 and towards 1.0 respectively without going beyond them. The max function is going to make it so that we return at least 0.1 so we can't go below that, and the min function is going to make it so we return at most 1.0 so we can't go above it. Once we update the value of target zoom, enable the physics process function. We're going to use physics process to animate the zoom towards the target zoom. The animation uses a lerp function to move the zoom a fraction of the way to the target. The fraction to lerp is a rate that gets multiplied by delta, that's the time since our last frame. This makes the motion the same speed on different machines, and it won't tie our zoom speed to the frame rate. The final step is disabling the physics process function when the zoom has reached the target zoom. And that's it. Do check out the guide bundle on itch for more detail on all of these steps and some extra functionality. If you want to support me, you can buy me a coffee or donate to that Godot lesson pack I mentioned earlier. Cheers!